A jigger is something you find at most bars, at least those that don't free pour. Hi, I'm Derek Schomer, host of Common Man Cocktails, owner of AwesomeDrinks.com, and welcome to our three-minute cocktail education videos. So you can go to AwesomeDrinks.com slash three if you want to see more of the series. I'm still making videos. Jiggers come in all different shapes and sizes. You can get standard measuring cups. You can get uh, the, those OXO measuring cups. You can get all these different ones. There's Leopold jiggers, which are little fancy looking rounder shaped ones. They all serve about the same purpose, but they don't do it in the same way. I tend to use Japanese jiggers because there's a lot of different measurements on them. They're more accurate. And when I'm going to friend's house, I like to have uh, a jigger with me because they don't always have them. And if I have to carry all the different shapes and sizes, I'll probably forget one at home and then I'll be angry. The Japanese jigger, all of these measure the same. Two ounces on one side, one ounce on the other side. There's a line in here for three quarters, a line in here for, what the hell's the other line for? Half ounce, uh, a line over here for an ounce and a half, and then you've got your two ounce on this side. Then you can kind of eyeball uh, a quarter of an ounce. If you're like, I don't like to eyeball a quarter of an ounce, so we also sell these small Japanese jiggers. This is an ounce on one side, a half ounce on the other. The quarter ounce is in this side. And uh, I think there's something over here. Nope, that's a three quarters. So it's three quarters, Three quarters, one half. So if you're looking to measure three quarters quickly, you have your three quarters, you have your one half, you have your two and you have your one. One of the reasons I like the Japanese jigger over these is this sucker right here, this guy measures two ounces. So does this. However, because the, the diameter of the face of this is so wide versus this, the accuracy when I miss pour goes up with the smaller jigger. And the reason is, well, the same reason is if you have a pool, if the water line in the pool goes up a half inch, that's a freaking lot of water. But if the pool's only this big, a half inch, ain't so much water. Things to know about measuring with the jigger of any type. Hit your mark. If you're looking for three quarters, or in this case, one and a half ounces, you want to go with that inner line. Don't go below it. Don't go above it. Hit it right on the mark. Practice. You'll get better at it. Secondly, the reason to own more than one, at least these two here, because if you're working in the dark, if I shut these studio lights down and I turn on my ambient lights, it's going to be a lot harder to see some of those fine detailed lines inside of these things, especially if you're going for like a three quarter mark in here or half, half an ounce in there. For that reason, it might be nice to have two so that you can figure out what your three quarters is without digging through here to look for the three quarters. You can hit your mark a lot easier here. Also, you can pour it over your shaker. So if this is your shaker tin, you can pour it here so any overflow lands in the drink instead of on the table, less to clean up, more for your patron. Down below, Austin Drake's Bartender Starter Kit. There's probably a video up here floating next to my head that you can watch. Also head up to awesomedrakes.com slash three to see the growing series of my three minute videos. We're teaching you how to drink.